on. Fried chicken tacos with some crumpled bacon. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. My name is Steven Bardo, former Flying Illini and NBA point guard turned basketball analyst. I have traveled the world through basketball, and the one thing I have found is everyone loves food and sports. talk about Atlanta, I'm coming back home. No disrespect to the shy, y'all know how I get down, but Atlanta's my home as well. So I'm super excited to be here to preview Toppings Hookah Lounge. Don't get the hookah confused, because they supposed to have some great food inside. Y'all know me, I need to go check it out. So let's see what's inside. I'm with my man, Chad Daniels. Thanks a lot for having us, Chad. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it, man. Champ, I've been to a lot of sports bars, man, and they have a very limited menu. You're from D.C., so you bring D.C. down to Atlanta. Tell me about that. It's always a blessing to expose your culture and how you grew up to, to the rest of the world. Yes. And, you know, that's part of Topping's vision okay. is to expose people to what I come from, from the mumbo sauce to the Maryland style crab cakes to the crab fries to even bringing backyard and bringing go-go the experience of go-go to Atlanta. We're half a mile from Mercedes Stadium which is right next to CNN which is right next to Phillips Arena. This area is going to be the next area that becomes big. They did Buckhead, they did Midtown, now it's coming downtown. Yeah. So we know you're in a great location. And being in Hot Atlanta, you're gonna have famous people all the time. Who, who are some of the people that we would recognize that have come to top? I could go on and on from DJ Drama, the T.I., the Jesus, the Big Boy, Deontay Wilder. I could go on and on, man. You want to Clark Atlanta's finest. Say less. Appreciate your time, man. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm hungry, though, man. Where the chef at? Let's get her. All right, all right. let's do it. Okay. We're in Southwest Atlanta, but we got an international flavor right. up in Top East Hookah Lounge, and a big reason for that is Chef Fly. Yeah. How you doing, Chef? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Most sports bars don't have this selection of cuisine. Right. Can you talk about why is it different here? When I first got here, I kind of took a look at the menu, and it was just basic stuff: wings, fries, fried fish. A big thing for me is try to bring some uniqueness to the table. Try to have things on the menu that people will say, oh wow, everybody has that, or I've never tried that, you know, and pique people's interest to try new things. So I took a look at the inventory, I took a look at, you know, my equipment, and I just decided, hey, I can put these things together, add my personal little flair to it, and give people something to remember, something to come back for. That's not just your basic bar food. Chef was sharing with me some of her background. I want you all to hear some of this as well. So, Chef, you said your mom gave you the basics. My mom gave me the basics. She took cooking as more of a chore as far as what women are supposed to do. Because mm. she's from a different type of culture. Waking us up at 7 in the morning to shell peas and, you know, clean 40 pounds of chicken and store it in the freezer, things like that. And it went from being a chore to something that I just grew an interest in. have some seared lamb lollipops. And then over here we have a salmon Philly cheesesteak. These are fried mac and cheese bites. And these are my signature hot honey garlic wings. Ooh, we have fried chicken tacos and some crab fries. All right, let me try these first. These are uh, lamb lollipops and I marinate them. I use some citrus juice, I use some lemon juice, some herbs, and a couple of other secret seasonings. Okay, so you said your mother told you to put citrus. Why? Um, it cuts the gaminess of the red meat. So all you're tasting is the meat and the seasoning. I'm trying to get my composure here. <laughs> but these lamb lollipops, I can't really taste the citrus though. Am I supposed That's to taste the, the citrus? No, you're not supposed to know it's there. It just does its job and then goes away. My goodness. I can eat that all day. 
We have our salmon Philly cheesesteak. This is our best seller here. And it's just, you know, kind of a nod to growing up in Philadelphia with the cheesesteak. I have sauteed onions, provolone cheese, and uh, it's my nod to Philadelphia, but a salmon version. Look, y'all, Philly in the house. That's right. Philly fans will be happy about this. I hope so. I uh, hope I'm doing them proud. What do you mean you hope? <laughs> I can smell it. Yeah, that's what I like. That makes it all worth it. It's one of the only places in Atlanta you can get it, and you gotta come try it. It's our best seller. The reason, Chef, why I typically don't eat Philly cheesesteaks because they're gut busters. They're yeah. so heavy. Right, that is true. Right? Right. This ain't heavy. No. But it's flavorful. Let's sure. pull this one here. Okay, this is, I came up with the signature wing flavor. It's hot honey garlic, which is basically what I like. I like a little heat with my wings, I like a little sweet, and I like a little savory. That's where the garlic comes in. And I know Atlanta's wing city, so I hope I got I hope I got it right. Oh, you got it right. Yes. <laughs> For me, that's what works. That's what I like. This is the type of food I, that I like to eat. I like it too. Here we have fried mac and cheese bites. I'm a mac and cheese fiend. It's my favorite food. Coming into toppings here, unfortunately I don't have an oven back there, so I wasn't able to make baked mac and cheese, but I had to find a way to get my craving taken care of. Sure. So I came up with fried mac and cheese bites as an appetizer just so I can have a little mac and cheese fix on the menu. Oh, wait if you make it happen. <laughs> Come on now. What? Girl, you're going to have me on the treadmill. You got a slight kick in here. A little bit. What is that? I can't tell you what that is. That's a, spe that's a special chef fly. That's my little secret. That's what makes my mac and cheese. Oh my, my mac goodness. And cheese. This here are my fried chicken tacos. So kind of a fusion between classic fried chicken and then you have a little Mexican flair with the taco. I also have a ranch flavored coleslaw on there. There's some crumbled bacon and then there's this sauce that I put on there that pairs perfectly with that, it's called Easy Sauce. A friend of mine, he makes it. Come on, fried chicken tacos? Yes. With some crumpled bacon? Uh-huh. <laughs> wow, listen here. Nobody gonna touch these. <laughs> here we have the crab fries. I use real crab meat mm -hmm. and I came up with a seafood sauce that I drizzle on top. I can't give away the secret to my sauce, but it has a Old Bay, a little lemon juice, a little garlic in it. It goes really well with the crab. And then there's also some melted cheese on there too. You can taste the crab in there. But I like to leave the fries unseasoned for this and let the crab and the sauce and the Old Bay be what shines. This is excellent. Chef Fly, you've been Thank great. You. Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so Thank much. You. Well, look, it lived up to the hype. I was a little skeptical at first, but Toppy's Hoopa Lounge did not disappoint. Make sure you check out the fried chicken tacos there to die for. A special thanks to Champ Daniels, the owner, and Chef Fly for hooking it up. That'll do it for this edition, special edition of American Loves Food and Sports from Hot Atlanta. I'm your man, Stephen Bardo. Until next time, peace.